Is it still there? Aha. For the flesh lasts against the spirit. Now remember when we say the flesh, we are meaning a combination of the soul and the body. In this context, because the two agree and they begin fighting against the spirit. So, the flesh lasts or fights against the spirit. And the spirit is against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you would want to do. You want to do the right thing. You can't do it. Because there is a war inside of you. The flesh is fighting against the spirit. And the spirit is fighting against the flesh. That's why we are saying if the devil can cap capture the mind. It will make it very easy for you to walk in the flesh. And very difficult for you to walk in the spirit. Now what happens, what happens to you? What do I do to begin to walk in the spirit? For you to walk in the spirit, the answer is you must develop the spirit man. You must develop the spirit man until he's as tall as Derek. You get what we are talking about. You must work on the spirit man. You must feed the spirit man. You must exercise the spirit man. You must train the spirit man. You must help the spirit man to trust God. And when you do that, the spirit man will grow taller and stronger. But when the spirit man is strong, he is going to lead the rest. And you will find it very easy to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Is somebody in the house? So how do you train the spirit man? Through the word of God, like we have already said. You must have, be serious with the word of God. So that the spirit man grows up. And then you need to exercise in prayer. Spiritual exercise will help Help the spirit man to grow stronger. When you are praying, you are actually it's the spirit man. You are exercising. Now, the longer you pray, the more you suppress who the, the flesh or the carnal man. Hallelujah. Amen. The third thing you may need to do is to obey the Holy Spirit. You train yourself in obedience. You begin to follow what the Holy Spirit is saying. You begin to learn how do I follow the Holy Spirit? How do I obey the Spirit of God? How do I walk in the Spirit? How does the Holy Spirit lead me? How can I follow so that I'm a spiritual man? When you begin to do that thing, called obedience, wow, then you will be able to strengthen the spirit man and the spirit man will be able to lead the way as God intended. It's very important, brethren, to develop your faith because God looks at you and he deals with you according to your seriousness in developing your faith. There's a, there's a very sad story of a certain lady. She fell sick with cancer. But she had a brother who was a very spiritual man who could pray for the sick, who could preach the gospel with signs and wonders. So they this man and said, your sister is dying of cancer. This story, when I read it, it touched my heart so much. The man of God said, ah, ah, that is very easy, let me come. So he went and found his sister in the hospital and he just commanded in the name of Jesus, cancer disappear. My sister, rise up and walk. And the woman rose up and she walked. And of course, they all celebrated. 
And everything was okay for another 10 years. 10 years later, she, he was called again. My dear man of God, your sister is back in the hospital with the cancer. 